Let's look at, we're going to need five, five things when we're setting up an arterial line, okay? Number one is you're going to need a 500cc bag of saline or heparinized saline. The next thing that you're going to need in setting up an arterial line is you're going to need the, tran the actual transducer with, that is connected to non-compliant tubing, okay? So that's number two. Number three is you're going to actually need a transducer cable because we're going to want to be able to hook this transducer tubing here up to our monitor there. The fourth thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a pressure bag uh, that will be able to pressurize the saline so we can put this system under high pressure so we can flush the tubing. And then the last thing that you're going to need is something that will hold the transducer uh, into place so that you can hold it at the level of the heart. So those are your materials. And now let's uh, talk about how to set up. First thing you want to make sure you do is flush your tubing. First thing you want to make sure is that all your stop cocks are turned on in the right spots and that your um, roller clamp is open. This bag has to be pressurized. So first you want to blow up your pressure bag. Alright, stop cocks in the right spot. You want to pressurize to about 250 to 300. We're at 300. It's a green line that lets you know it's 300. Okay. And then once we're done, if we see the stopcock, where does that need to be when we're done? You want to turn this towards the bag. Okay. Right. That allows no air to escape out. When we want to take the pressure out, we just simply turn the stopcock down. But I don't want to lose my pressure. So, anyways. So now, once this tubing is pressurized, it's now ready to flush. So, before we do that, if you come down and get a close-up to the transducer holder, we need to hang this transducer tubing, okay? It just sits in right here. But there's a right and a wrong way to do this. When you hang this transducer tubing, you want to make sure that the tubing that's going to go to the patient is facing upwards, and that the, the, the cable for the transducer is facing downwards. Here's how you flush it push push in push in and allow all the air to come out of your tubing okay and we see that all the air is out we have flushed the the a line we're almost done here the only thing that we need to do now is we just need to come down here and actually connect the transducer cable to the transducer and then plug it up into our monitor up here okay but sometimes you have multiple IV bags hanging and just adding another pressurized saline bag just adds adds another bag that you're hanging. This actually doesn't need to be hanging on an IV pole. So what I do is if you follow me here, I actually will bring this down and I grab an endotracheal tube stylet and hang it off the side of the bed and I just hang this pressurized bag down there. And that allows it to stay out of the way of all of your other bags. And once you do these steps, your A-line is set up and you're ready to go.